<laughs> to, get our t- <laughs> to get into our tips for round 23, the last round of the regular season. It hurts to say that, but it's also super exciting because it is about to go down. And Sarasop is going to be the game that they absolutely got right It's uh, for it being the Friday night game of this round. Brisbane in Melbourne at the GABA. I will side with the slight favorites here. Um, with, I'll take I'll take Brisbane over Melbourne. I'm I'm one of those, and I'm I'm actually with you on this one. I, I I've got Brisbane because the GABA I, the GABA is a little bit of a different animal. Melbourne surviving Carlton concerns me a little bit. Mm-hmm. Did Brisbane mm-hmm. survive the Saints a little bit? Yes, but I think Brisbane overall played a little bit more of a consistent game in that one. Um, so, and I just, I like the, the fact that the game is up in the GABA, I think it's going to help me with this one a little bit. This is, this is really a 50, 50, 50 for me, because I think if Melbourne can get their game going like they did earlier in the year, they can win, but Brisbane is really good at the GABA. So I'm going to tip Brisbane in this one, but this is, this is a, this is a coin toss for me. I think this one is really, really close. I'm hoping for an absolute belter on Friday night. You said coin toss. Yep. Oh, jeez, he's actually going to do it. Oh, that means Brisbane but still wins anyway. Well, okay, the landing on heads. <laughs> it's my trigger word now. You say coin toss or flip. I'm just going to bring out the coin. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I am, I'm looking forward to this next game being over because I can finally get on <laughs> with this depressing season. Oh, my gosh. As soon as the way he said that, I know exactly what game he's talking about. <laughs> GWS, Fremantle, at Canberra. Canberra. Oh. Manuka Ovo and Canberra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Frio's winning. Yeah, I think Frio's winning, but I, I even the horrible keep, keep an, keep an eye on this. Keep an eye on this one. Last keep week. an eye on this one. Traveling oh. all the way across country, this is a difficult travel from 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 Perth to Sydney is not a short travel. Keep an eye on how Fremantle responds in this one. This this could be one of those. Can GWS find a way to nick a team that maybe is kind of going to want to try to coast Please. to get through this game? Fremantle win this one, but I think TWS is in this a little uh, in this a little bit more. The only thing that bugs me is the fact Toby Green is out. The, go, Toby Green is out for the rest of the year after having surgery, so that really hurts them. But I just I, I just have this weird feeling Fremantle cannot take GWS lightly in this one. I think Fremantle wins it, but I think this is this is a squeaker. I think this is a trap game for, for Fremantle. They cannot take GWS lightly. You know, the next one, I was I was really thinking about doing a bit of a fireworks show for the bold tip of the round um, to, to cap things off for the regular season, uh, especially looking at the best odds where um, the Cats are, uh, or, or West Coast, uh, shall we say, is $15 underdogs <laughs> to, to Geelong. So I was almost like, hey, let's send it. But I gave myself, and we're, we're still sending it, ladies and gentlemen. It's just a little bit less of a send, a little bit more realistic one because – North Melbourne is going to knock off Gold Coast in in the battle of the two lovable sucky teams of the league. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna Marvel. go. I'm gonna go Gold Coast as 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 much as as much as I would love to see North Melbourne get a win for Ben Cunnington, especially after coming back from his issues. I just think Gold Coast has a little too much talent, a little too much cohesion. I think Gold Coast has just run into some good teams over these last over these last few rounds and just haven't played as well as they did there for that little stretch. So I'm going to go with Gold Coast in this one, but I I do agree with you. I think North Melbourne keeps this a little bit closer, especially being at Marvel. Yeah, yeah. Um, not going to get maybe the soft little bit of football that we see over at um, a home game for Gold Coast. Of course, it's at Metricon. I did not just blink on the very home grounds uh, name for a second. Definitely <laughs> not me. No, sir. I don't do that thing. Uh, let's go GMHBA where we're going to see the Jalon Cats slaughter the West Coast Eagles. We already know who I'm tipping in this one. No, Jalon wins this one. I think even even without Jeremy Cameron, I still think Jalon's just a little too just a little too good. The fact that Jalon is able to rest some of their players over these last few weeks makes me a little bit frightened of this Jalon team if they can if they can stay fresh and healthy. Right. They're 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 extremely deadly. The Jeremy Cameron injury make may make me a little nervous come finals, but mm-hmm. this game I'm not nervous. Even Cameron not being there, I still think the cats just are just a little too good. 
Yes, sir. Uh, speaking about being too good for this team, let's talk about how Richmond is going to be Eston and secure themselves a spot in the finals once again. I'm with you on this one. Uh, a few weeks ago, I would have said Essendon because I thought Essendon was starting to find their mojo. But unfortunately, yeah. as, no. we have, as we have seen, uh, Richmond, Richmond has started to play well. Essendon has started to play not well. So I'm going to go with the Tigers on this one to get the big win and solidify their spot in the finals and maybe solidify their spot as being the deadly team in the elimination finals when it comes to teams in contention. Right. I, I'm right there with you. I would not want to play the Tigers, man. They're they're horror, horrifying to play any time when it comes to finals, um, unless their team they're playing against is led by the greatest American and American Australian football player of all time, Mason Cox. The second time getting that one, I don't care. Um, and the next game, let's talk about, let's, let's start right down the showdown. Going down, round 23, Port Adelaide and Adelaide. Um, Dickley Port is going to be the home team in this one at the Oval. Um, and I'm going with them, and I'm going with them in the other prediction that, Donnie, they listen to you. Of course, Port Adelaide listens to the show, and they're going to be rocking the prison bars <laughs> because it doesn't matter. Their punishment, and I think it's, they lose they lose some uh, uh, points. I think they forfeit like four points or something like that. They're missing finals anyway. Who cares? Where are the prison bars? Screw Collingwood. <laughs> Uh, I'm with you on this one. I got I got Port. Um, I think Port's just to play it a little bit too better. Uh, Robbie Gray with his retirement game. I think he has a chance to potentially get another showdown medal, which would then only add to his lead in showdown medal winners. As much as I like the Crows, I think the Crows have been playing decent, well, well, well organized football. I think Port. I think Port Adelaide just has a little too much. I, I, Port Adelaide is much stronger list wise going into this game than they were earlier in the season when Dawson had to win it after the siren. So I'm going to tip port in this one to even out one, one this year in showdowns. And if Ken Hinckley wants a job next year with Port Adelaide probably has to win this one. Otherwise the board might be, uh, I've been changing their minds a little bit. The showdown has some some real significance, um, especially able to finish the year on the high note. Definitely will bode well for uh, for Ken Hinckley, but it won't bode well for me. I hope he loses this one, goes to GWS, and now we're all going to be happy. Uh, it's <laughs> happening, Donnie. I'll take the 3%. 3% chance it's going to happen. Um, and there's a way bigger percent chance of the doggies beating Hawthorne this round than just 3%. In fact, tippers have it at 87% on the AFL website, and I definitely am going to agree with them, even though it's going to Utah's. Uh, Hawthorne has been in shambles the last few rounds, and the doggies, yeah, I mean, we saw against just against EWS where they didn't look great for most of that game. There is like a minute where they put up four goals, so they, they can explode at any time. Yeah, this is one of those. I, I think that the, the, the Hawks have kind of hit that wall, a young team hitting the wall late in the season where they just they don't have the same pizzazz that they did earlier in the year. I think the Doggies win this one. But this is one of those that's odd because it's like I, I believe with the way my tips go, I think the Doggies will make I think the Doggies will make the finals because I think they're going to just beat Hawthorne enough to at least make sure the percentage is there to get them into the finals, which kind of previews my tip for the next one. But I, I'm almost worried if the doggies make it, does it does it lower the standard of finals a little bit because the doggies have not been playing good football? Mm. Now there's a question. Um ooh, the big one, Donnie. The big one of the round. Carlton Collingwood at the MCG. The odds are even in this one, but the tipping percentages are very close, but not even. I'll take the magpies in this one just because I really don't trust the Carlton Blues. I am I'm with you on this one. I think the Blues injury the injuries are where they or the injuries that they have I think are devastating. I think you're coming this is going to come in super emotional. I think the Pies if they if they just approach it with just play your game. Just do what you mm -hmm. need to do. Don't try to be over don't try to overly play this game. Don't try to make up for last week's loss to, to the Swans. I, I I don't think Carlton is going to be as dangerous as the Swans are when it comes to pressure. I think the Pies get this one done. I still think this one's close. I think it's the mm -hmm. Pies' DNA to win games close. So I think this is one. It's less than two goals. I think this is an eight point win by the Pies. I think they survive. And unfortunately, I think Carlton falls just a little bit short and falls out of the finals, which is a little bit sad because they have been so good this season. But 
you got to play better footy at the right time of the season. So I'm going to tip pies on this one. That's for damn sure. In the same way where I don't trust Carlton, I do not trust St. Kilda to uh, beat Sydney, let alone beat them by 100 points. Um, so I'll take Sydney at this one uh, in the, the last game of the regular season. As a Swans fan, this is another trap game that scares me because this is a Swan. This is this. this How is many a trap swan- games have they had? They had this year. <laughs> oh, I, for me, sometimes you could almost say, as a Swans fan, you could say everyone. Every game, every game is a trap game for for Sydney I feel sometimes, that. I especially, feel that. especially when you got a team that honestly they come in, they really don't have a ton to play for. They just got to just play reckless footy. Which if, if the mm-hmm. Swans play their game the way they can, they can actually make this the the Saints pay for this one. I think this one's this win this one. I don't think it's a massive win. I think maybe th- four goals max. I think St. Kilda has enough talent and skill that they'll stay in this game. They'll they'll give Swans fans heart palpitations because it'll only be two or three goals for most of the game. But I think the Swans class and ability will be able to hold on. I just think it's close. It's closer than I think some Swans fans would want. But I, I have the Swannies winning this one as well. Ooh, that is how we're going to cap things off. Our last bit of tips for the uh, regular season of the AFL. This is going to be a lot of fun. We'd love to see your guys' thoughts on this one and the biggest games you're looking forward to and maybe the games on here that were the hardest ones to tip.